Hello everybody, I'm going to show you how to fix Steam VR Error 208. Uh, this usually uh, indicates an issue where the headset display is not detected. Okay, there's a couple of things that you want to go through. First, make sure that all the cables from your VR headset to your PC, including HDMI, USB, and power cables, are sure, ensure, uh, securely connected. Um, this is the most common reason for this error occurring, so just double, triple check to make sure that they're okay and they are not damaged. The next thing you want to do is, of course, try to restart Steam and then restart your PC. Um, just to be safe that there's nothing wrong there. And of course you want to update your graphics driver. So go to NVIDIA app, uh, graphics driver update, of course, to make sure that that doesn't work. Next thing you want to do is update Steam VR. You want to right click on it, go to properties, go to updates, and then click on immediately download updates and see if there are any updates that are available. Also, you might want to try participating in the beta. So on the left hand side, there's betas and you'll see beta participation and you can choose an earlier version of the beta um, and see if that fixes the issue. It might cause other issues, so I don't necessarily recommend it, but if you're having this issue, it might be software related. And in that case, this might solve it. So give it a try to see if that works. Now, the next thing you might want to try is to verify integrities of the uh, Steam VR software. So go into Steam, right click on Steam VR, go to properties, go to installed files and click verify integrity of tool files. This will take a couple of minutes to complete, um, but that does fix the issue sometimes if it's related to corruption or something else in the software. Okay, now you want to enable direct mode in Steam VR. So let's launch VR, uh, Steam VR, and it will come up in a tiny window. Here it is. I don't have a VR headset uh, connected, so it's gonna look like this. You want to make sure that direct mode is enabled. So how do you do that? Click on the three little lines right here. From here, go to the developer tab thing. And from here, go to developer settings. Now this will come up. And from here, you want to click on enable direct display mode. So basically uh, this ensures that your HMD is not recognized as a monitor by Windows. If enabling direct mode does not work, again, go back to sh uh, see if your GPU drivers are up to date because this should work and it not working is an indication of old GPU drivers. Okay. The next thing you want to do is check the BIOS and UEFI settings for USB. So uh, go into your BIOS. Usually it's something like F2, delete, um, F12 or something when you're restarting your PC. And when you're in the BIOS settings, look for USB settings, especially something related to USB 3.0 and make sure that they're configured correctly. Also disabling USB legacy support can help with detection issues, believe it or not. By the way, if you haven't uh, updated your BIOS recently um, in the past couple of years, I am definitely guilty of that. That could be the cause of your issue. Uh, VR does require USB 3.0 to run and older PCs with unupdated BIOS uh, will not have that compatibility by default. You need to update it manually. So give that a try. The next thing you want to do is make sure that your network and firewall settings are not interfering with your uh, VR headset. So open Windows settings search settings in the window search bar on the bottom left of your screen and go to settings. From here, you're gonna see network and internet, click on that. From here, you're gonna see uh, whatever you're connected to, whether you're connected to ethernet or Wi-Fi. I'm connected to ethernet, so click on that. Here, it's probably gonna say public network uh, recommended. Now, try switching this to private network. Um, temporarily while running VR, this does fix the issue for many different people to see if that works. The next thing you want to try, uh, if you're using any kind of link box, um, try connecting your VR headset directly to the, uh, the PC 
to see if the link box itself is an issue. And of course, the last step is to make sure your hardware is okay. Um, you want to try your VR headset on a different computer to see if the error follows the hardware. In that case, then of course, it is a hardware related issue, then you can troubleshoot it from there. Okay, if this video helped you, please leave the video a like and please subscribe. I would really appreciate it.